What is up, guys and gals? Welcome to Slime Rancher. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here again as we hang out and play another little dose of this happy little game. This game is like smiles consolidated. Like if you took just the ethereal mass that is the feeling of smiles and turn it into a video game, this would be the game that you get out. And one of the things I've talked about with Slime Rancher, I think in my previous series as well, is just how satisfying this little game is. Like, it's very, very cool what they've managed to accomplish. It's not very often you see games that are completely family-friendly that are at the same time entertaining for both kids and adults. Like, usually there's like a bar there where it just feels a little bit kiddish. And so, I don't know. I don't have the sense of whimsy that I used to have anymore when I was a kid. It's gone. It's been beaten out of me by the harsh realities of life. However, games like this somehow managed to bring it back, and I highly recommend this. This is one of the best indie games of last year, in my opinion. People are free to disagree. Let's fill up on some water in the tank over here. So how much water can we store up? Is it still the same amount as whatever the rest of our tank is? Indeed, it appears to be so. We can have 30 water inside of our tank. And have they changed the way the water works? Or does it still work the way you assume it works? Okay, it basically still works the way that it used to back when I played the game last time. In today's episode, we are desperately absolutely desperately trying to get this big mega larjo out of the way so that we can get another slime key and go to a new zone and get some jungle slimes some honey slimes and some stuff like that i think that would be a lot of fun we are going to start hybridizing pretty soon we're going to keep the hybrid slimes in the cave though because they're weirdos there we go i figured we finish it off right there and so there's our phosphor slimes and a treasure chest and quite a few other things, actually. But that is what I'm most interested in. We've got ourselves another slime key. So where do you all want to go? I've already seen the jungle zone from the last time I played. And so it seems to me that going to this zone right here, which was not completed the last time I played the game, would probably be the wisest way to hedge my bets on finding new content. So let's head off in this way. I, I feel pretty solid about the fact, aside from the fact that we're being chased by... Being chased by evil feral slimes. I still feel good about this. I love that door animation, by the way. It makes me happy. It makes me very, very happy. So what do we have? Oh, really? The cat slimes mixed with rock slimes look kind of cool. I might hybridize some of those, actually. That might be fun. Although the cat slimes can be a bit of a... The tabby slimes can be a nuisance if they gain attack capabilities. And the rock slimes are definitely a little bit more... Gotta shoot him down, get him up and out of here. So is there anything in this zone that interests me? Slimes, you look a little panicked right now. I'm trying to protect you. I will do my best to help out with your slimy republic over here and make you feel safe again. Hey, you leave those slimes alone. Yeah, I just poofed you into confetti. How do you feel now? Converted you into particulate fun that's actually pretty difficult to clean up. I don't know if I would recommend confetti at most parties. It just doesn't... It doesn't seem like something that I feel like cleaning up. I just don't see it happening. So what's going on over here? Oh, there's a tabby slime lord over there. Okay. Some heartbeats. I don't know if I want to pick up the rock plurts right now. Oops, I just threw a puddle slime into the... Fine, we'll get rid of the puddle slimes for now. I've got to line up on where I can get more of those anyways. With you, sir. A little bit of a more complicated shot right here to feed that one. But not that complicated. We can make the trajectory happen. I would like to... It looks like we've got a cuberry tree over there. It feels weird to me that strawberries are growing on trees. I live in a strawberry farming area. Strawberries, if you don't know, they grow on these little bushes that come out of the ground. They're kind of like a weird plant. An odd plant. And then again, I've noticed a lot of people don't know how pineapples grow either. I only know because my family's Hawaiian, so... I might have an advantage there with regards to the train of knowledge, but... Pineapples are like these little stubby things, too. Some people think they fall off of trees. They do not. They're like these little things that grow out of the ground. Oh, it connects back here. So did I even need to use that key? Oh, dude, what a bummer. It looks like that's it for this zone, huh? 
It's just like a loop back. Oh, that's disappointing. My hope was that maybe, huh. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I know how I feel about it. I just don't want to express it. I know how I feel about it. I'm just not going to say anything, but I am a little confused by... There's got to be something in here that I've missed. Like, what's the point of this zone? Okay, so we land on this. Let me jump over to here. It looks like there's a chicken spawner. It looks like if we do some creative climbing, though, we might be able to get on top of this arch. And then we'll go across here. And it does look like there's a corridor on this side. But it leads to empty water. No! I just wasted a key. Now I feel foolish. And I don't much like feeling foolish. Hmm. That is a disappointment. Maybe this hasn't been developed yet. Like, maybe it's been unlocked, but it just hasn't fully been fleshed out. Because it looks like maybe they're going to make something lead out into the water right there. There's another landmass out that way, too. I can't wait to see. Like, this is one of those games where I can't wait for updates. Like, you sit around and you get so excited about it. Don't eat my heartbeats. I need those. Thank you. This does give us good access to heartbeats, though. And it's another zone to scour through when we're looking for stuff like chickens. So not a complete and total loss. But definitely not worth the key in my opinion because it didn't give us access to any new slimes. Which is realistically what I want when I have a new zone. Let's grab, wow, that is a carrot pile right there. That was a hell of a pile of carrots. Bugs Bunny's been in the region or something. What was the name of Bugs Bunny's kid? I was trying to think of that the other day and I couldn't think of it. Like Max maybe? I don't know. Everybody was named Max back in the day when it came to like cartoon characters because that is one of the coolest names that you can have. It's a really, really... It's a, it's a name that's got kid credibility. If your name is Max. You might be the coolest kid in your class. It's possible. At least if you're from the 90s because that was the most extreme name you can have because it had an X inside of it. I mean, I guess you could be Xavier. That would be your other option. I knew a kid named Roy who was pretty cool. This is like elementary school though, so take what you will. I mean, how cool can you actually be in elementary school? I suppose that would be primary for all of my friends overseas. You know, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Those happy years where you're growing up and school is super fun and then the horrible, horrible realization that junior high has arrived has not yet occurred. Junior high, not so much fun. Now, I've talked to a lot of people. I've done the polling here. I've, d I've done the numbers. I've ran it. And people do not seem to be a fan of junior high. Well, here, don't blow me up. Instead, consider eating some heartbeats. Ow. Uh, you guys like Q-berries? Enjoy your Q-berries. Give me... Give me lovely, lovely, lovely double plorts. Thank you, sir. Who likes pogo fruits, though? Like, nobody? Nobody knows the trouble of pogo fruits. All right, well, at least they won't rot inside of there. I will also store away some Q-berries for later. And some Oka Oka appears to be finished over on this side. Oka Oka coming in nicely. It's got 35 minutes. I'll probably let that do one more harvest before I bulldoze it and I try for another harvest. Has the price gone up on our rad slimes yet? No, it's still down. It's still a bad market to be a part of. However, these slimes still need to get fed. So you know what? There it is. We'll feed them. And as they poop those out, we'll sort it out. It looks like we need a new roostro over here. I think our roostro has finally reached the end of his days. He's gotten old enough to where it's time to sacrifice him to the god of the slimes. And there it is. Wow. That's a pretty good volume of plorts right there. I was going to say, I need you guys to explodeses before I go all in picking up your poops. 
I require safety. There we go. I'll leave those other plorts in there for now. Not going to concern myself too heavily with them. Let's take this back. And rock plorts, how are they doing? Rock plorts are alright. It looks like boom plorts are down, but we need cash, so you know what? I'm going to sell them at a loss because I need to fill the coffers. I don't have much of a choice here. As far as the rad plorts go, not in too bad a shape. Got 30 more right here, and I'm a little bit conflicted as to whether I should store them up and save them until the market evens out. They do sell for over 50, so I'm thinking that answer is yes. We should just fly with a little bit of low cash right now. And once they come back out, we should be able to make ourselves a good $2,500, $2,600. What's it going to cost me to get into this cave over here? The grotto is going to cost me $1,795. It seems like fate. We have $1,795. What are the chances of that happening? Sure? I, it's got to be. It's predetermination. If we don't go in on it right now, we're probably making a mistake, maybe. Kind of. So that's going to give us a few more areas, and it looks like there's actually a new loop around that they've put inside the grotto as well. This is going to be a great zone for you to put your nocturnal guys so that you don't have to buy them super upgraded pens or anything like that. Things like phosphor slimes. Oh, really? I like the way the moonlight dances over here. It looks like it's just got to teleport back. That's cool. It's another access point to our base. I'm happy with it right now. Let's sprint back around this way, and I'll probably put up a new pen in here for the phosphor slime so that we can move our slimes around a little bit. I may combine the kitty slimes with the... Yeah, I might combine the cat slimes with the rock slimes for ease of feeding. Make our lives a tad easier right there, plus I like the way that they look. I don't know, I like how they have the little fragments sticking off of them and stuff. It makes me happy. We have the silo, the oka oka's good. Let me just, I'm doing a quick appraisal right now, trying to figure out, oh, the market prices are refreshing too. And things continued to get worse for slime ranchers out there. It's a rough market to be in. The economy, killing off lots of businesses. Killing off lots of businesses. You gotta make it though, you're gonna survive. Survive! 41 minutes on that harvest, 41 minutes on that harvest. More pogo fruits and carrots. Hmm. So I've got a planting spot over there. It might be more worthwhile to plant cuberries in multiple spots. Not totally sold on the venture, but it feels to me as though that would be a smart idea still. Let's gather up some chickens while we're here because we've got to feed the cat slimes. And unfortunately, our chickens are no longer breeding. So that's going to be something else we got to deal with as time goes along. I hear you, chicken. I know you're out here. I can hear you warbling. Warble, warble goes the chicken. Don't hide. You can't hide from me at all. I am the chicken chaser. The master of chicken chasing. Yep, there's another one right there. Pretty good at chicken kicking, too. I don't know if you ever played that minigame, but chicken kicking was from Fable. And I might be a world champion chicken kicker. I'm pretty good at it. I don't want to brag about my skills at kicking small, fluffy animals, but chicken kicking is something that I have excelled at in previous ages. Alright, kitty slimes. I know this is a pretty subpar dinner for most of you. But... I figure it's probably wise to get y'all fed. Rock plorts. Pull a couple of those out, and then this will actually help us supplement our cash too, because I can't be this cash poor. There we go. Now we got 400 bucks. You ever notice how, like, when you were younger, like when I was first turned like 17 and I got like my first job or whatever, you ever notice how like small sums of money seemed so much bigger to you back then? But then, if you're not at that point yet, I'm talking to, like, other 30-year-olds and stuff right now. As you get older, have you ever realized how much, like, sums of money become less impressive? Like, I don't know. Like, a $100 paycheck when I had my first job was like, Whoa, I have so much money! And now if I work two weeks for $100, I'd be like, man. 
It is rough out. It's just weird how, how the goalpost changes as you get older, you know? Like the same things don't satisfy you anymore. And I can't say whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's always good to be driven. But then again, it's a bad thing to be greedy, so who knows? However, I don't think wanting to satisfy your basic needs is greedy. I, I don't think that, so... Eh. Looks like the Oka Oka is getting ready to come up right now. Uh, trying to decide on my options here. Did I not replant heartbeats? Did I screw that up? I think I screwed that up. I don't have any heartbeats? That seems... No, my heartbeats are over here. So how come they haven't, like, come in... Eh, whatever. We'll sleep till morning, and I want to see if that'll maybe get our our crops regrowing. I think we've been pulling too many all-nighters, and it's nice to give your fields a chance to like refresh instantly in between the periods of play. So let's go back into our little capsule corporation house here. Sleep two hours till morning. Hooray for us. It's been two hours. Dos horas. I've well, we got a little bit more Oka Oka coming through. But it may be time to sacrifice one in order to get that back up and running. What did I have stored over here? Okay. Alright. I can work with that. Let me see if the heartbeats came in, though. Because the next thing I think I'm going to target is going to be that big blue guy that's at the entrance to the cave zone. Oh, they're not in yet. Okay. Fine, then. I want to do it anyways. I will grab some carrots then, and we will look for heartbeats elsewhere. We also have another plan that we needed to... Eh, just get rid of those real fast. We also needed to look for... What other things did I need? I needed something, and I'm having brain for Oh, a roostro. We need roostros very, very badly. There's a couple. Perfect. Ask, and ye shall receive, maybe, if it is if the Lord's in a particularly good mood today. I don't know. Sometimes he's in a good mood, sometimes he's in a bad mood. He's hard to read, what with the incorporeal, invisible thing and whatnot. It's a challenge. There's another heartbeat, which is what I needed in order to get this job done. What's an episode without a little bit of blasphemy thrown in? Why not? <gasps> you there. Oh, <gasps> the golden plot! Get out of here, Oka Oka. The golden plot. I don't think it's like worth shit though. Like legitimately, I don't think it's worth that much money. I still feel good about it though. I still wanted one and then I acquired one. And so I feel like I've advanced in this playthrough in a way that previously I had not advanced. So you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. Should I head back home right now? I think I shall. I gotta put those roostros inside the cage. And once we got those roostros caged, because they can't be contained, son! Busting out! They've been working out lately. They started wearing affliction shirts. Getting face tattoos. Roostros are riding dirty nowadays. They're, they're rolling pretty rough around the edges. I told them they might want to dial it down for their future employment opportunities, but they don't want to listen to me, so whatever. That's cool. If you want to get tap out finger tattoos, I guess that's on you. I don't judge. I might raise an eyebrow and be like, that seems like a terrible idea, but that's not a judgment. That's not a judgment. That's just me appraising your future prospects. I don't know. One of the things I like about this is that I can basically tattoo myself and do whatever I want without having to worry about my employment opportunities. However, there is the question to be made about, you know, what I'm going to do when YouTube's up. But you know what? We'll, we'll cross that bridge when I get there. For now, I'm living for the moment. Living for the moment. Some heartbeats. I need to sell this gold plort is what I need to do. I'm gonna bring this thing over here and get money. No, the price is down. It's only worth 452. It was worth like 600 last time. Oh man. Now I gotta use up a storage slot on golden plorts. Oh look at that. It stores. Cool. I thought maybe it would be like an exception to the rule and it wouldn't store properly. I had no idea. I wasn't sure what to expect. They're looking a little hungry in there. I'm going to feed them the carrots, though. Oh, 
Heartbeats are too valuable right now. I can't be giving them away. These guys, oh man, they need food too. Shit, everybody needs food. It appears as though everyone is hungry, excluding... Are you guys hungry? Yeah, they're pretty hungry too. All right, ladies, enjoy your new gentleman. I'll be back later, don't peck him to death. I'm sure it'll be fine. I needed to feed you, Oka Oka. Still waiting for those prices to come back up, though. Still waiting on them prices. Damn. Okay. Well, back in action, I guess. No time like the present. I don't know exactly how I want to orchestrate this, because I know we've got a... God. So many pogo fruits. Which actually I do need, so we're going to go ahead and we'll feed some of the phosphor slimes these guys. Although I am going to start restructuring towards slimes that are worth a little bit more money at the bare minimum. Possibly hybridizing some of the tabby slimes need to be fed to here. You guys come with me. You are soon to be meal. There's one. Sometimes he's got to get the bird's eye view, which is vaguely pun. It's kind of punny. I mean, I am searching for birds from a bird's eye view, and the bird can't fly. And so that's a little ironic, actually. I think it's a. I think it's got a little bit of irony in there. Not like a ton, but some. Oh, good. Chainsaw guy is back. Hooray, chainsaw guy! You chainsaw that shit. You do it, man. You do it. Accomplish things today. Don't let me stop you. There, see, he listens to the words that I say. You shall have all of the pogo fruits right now. Kitties, you need these over here. Kitty slimes, they look pretty happy. But you know what? I'm sure they would like to eat more. I may actually condense... Yeah. So let's get rid of the tabbies. And in so doing, we'll hybridize some of these. It will make harvesting a little bit more sketchy. But... That having been considered... I don't know if I should keep this quantity in here. There's a lot of them. Let's go ahead and pick a couple. Let's pick a couple for the fire here. There we go. Sorry, pal. Your straw came up. Sometimes you're the big straw, sometimes you're the little straw. And my other slimes, they need room to range. And what this means is we can clean out that pen on the left-hand side and get rid of the tabby slimes. Because now we've got tabby hybrids in here that are providing us with all the same benefits that we would have got previously. Without us having to take up double pen space in order to finish it. But we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. As always, thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher. Things are coming around nicely. I think our slimes are looking pretty good at the moment. I'm happy with the way things are arrayed. Uh, we could move things around a little bit to make them a tad more advantageous. But other than that... I like the way things are developing, so I'm going to do this off camera because I don't want to break your little hearts when I fire them into the ocean. Bye, everybody. Get the game down below.